So I just wanted to show you, well, actually, Cage wanted to show you. First of all, he just got a bath, so he feels really clean. But he got a new toy that he absolutely loves. Probably one of the best investments. A $2 ball with a squeaker in the middle of it, and it's a hard rubber. And he just loves it. We have to take it away from him at night so we can sleep because he just he just plays with it all day long. He loves to play with that ball. And Darla's going to throw it into the... Oh. There you go. Throw it into the bedroom. Let's see what he does. See if he'll. I don't think he'll go try to get it. Do you? Ooh. Oh, last time he jumped up from the bottom. Of the bed. There he comes. There he is in his bed. You thought I played ball a lot before. He never. He never stops. Now he just loves playing ball. He just loves this ball. Is that your ball? Do you like that ball, huh? I can barely squeeze it, make it squeak, but boy, he makes it squeak like crazy. Is that your is that is that your favorite toy? I always try to get him something when I go to the store, something, something to play with, or a snack, or you know, something like that. I looked at about five different things. This was like the cheapest thing. I thought, well, let me get that. Because he's so good at chewing stuff up. You buy him, you know, four tennis balls, and the first day he's got one chewed into a million pieces. One of his favorites. Yeah. Our, Our grandson, grandson made, made that. Yeah. He crocheted. Yeah, now he's got two of those. December. Now he's got wow. two of them. Two small ones. <laughs> yeah. He he loves it though. That's one of his favorites too. And then this one. That's he gets that's a piggy. Head. It used to oink. It doesn't do that. No, he picks that the first minutes ten minutes. Yeah. Anyways, he whips this thing all around to where it like flies and hits the ceiling. Yeah, but, but that's, that's not nearly his favorite anymore since that ball. He's fun. And then this. Yeah, his antler. That's an elk yeah. antler. Yeah. We definitely figured out what he likes. So. <laughs> One and he, other thing that's not cage related, I've been wanting to tell you guys about this thing. This is a lifesaver out here. Yeah. It fries the bugs, and we get a bunch of them in here, especially with him, you know, signing traffic in and out at night. They like attach to his vest or whatever, and they come in. So I get up in the morning and take over the shift at six o'clock, and I'm like on the hunt. And it smells like fried bug parts. And yeah. Stuff, but that last place we went to, we seemed to collect a lot of spiders and this thing's that were pregnant. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, we did have a lot of spiders. And uh, anyway, as soon as it comes in contact, you hear it snap. Yeah. Why it snap? There's something on it. Probably a bug leg. Anyway, it's good and quick. And the thing about it is, is Darla says they taste like Fritos, right, so you know. the dead bugs, so she eats them. <laughs> yeah, so this is what we do. This is our this is our job. See that? There's Darla's job right there. Being the executive chair coordinator. And we just kind of sit around in the air conditioning and play with the dog and watch TV and play on the computers. And, eat do a lot of eating i've been doing a lot of eating weird night last night seemed to have just people off the street trying to get in i actually had one what if it was a full moon last night i don't know i don't think so but had a black mercedes run the gate and having people trying to come in where they can't get in and trying to get out where they can't get out I don't know. Yeah, we finally got that gate shut, so now we're probably going to have to... Well, you do have it closed, huh? So they'll probably release the cows back into this area, so we got to keep that main gate closed, which I do at night anyway, just because... Uh, yeah, well, there's people get off that highway, and, and they... I've seen them swap people around. I know they're moving illegals around here and stuff. 
This border is in chaos. Don't let don't let the news media tell you it isn't. You want to see if it's chaos? Come down here and spend a few days. I mean, you walk into town, it's it's uh, the people. Most of the people coming over the border are nice people, and you don't really have to be worried about them. It's just the few. But we haven't had any problems with any negatives, really. Darla had a. Yeah, that was at the other place, a guy that... came up trying to talk to me, and I just told him, go away. Yeah, she speaks Spanish, too, so... So who knows, she probably ordered a burrito, and he came back, and we were gone. <laughs> this is this is kind of the, the world. Um, yeah, I'll show you something else that works real good. But it's really, really hot, that little fan right there. We got that at Walmart, and it was about $30. I kind of stepped out in faith. And I'll tell you what, it blows a lot of air. Another thing it's good for is I shampooed the carpet the last two days. It got the carpet cleaned up real nice, and it dries the carpet real quick. You can, as you can see on the side there, it collects a little dust. Everything is dusty. Um, I keep a wet washcloth, and every time I open a blind, I clean the sill, and I'm always cleaning my table over here, and, and just trying to keep this place nice and clean. Just thought we'd show you that and share Cage. Now Cage is onto the string thing, so he likes to put it on my foot and chew on chew on it on my foot. It's on Cage because a lot of people love him and they don't get to see him too much. Yeah, we, he's he's such a good boy. He's mean, he bites, he bites me. He plays hard. Plays hard. We're kind of hoping he gets over that. I don't want to hurt him, but Man, I mean, sometimes he bites me so hard, he, he darn near ripped my, the end of my finger off there the other day. So, yeah, look at who I could do that again. Oh, by the way, uh, things are going good as far as the channel. Um, the views are up, and the subscribers is up, and, man, it's just amazing. We're really uh, humbled by the whole process, and there we go. Darla's got to go to work. So, yeah, let me see if I can film her doing this. So here she goes. So here comes a truck. I'm not going out there. You're good to go on in. They you. sprayed over here with chemicals to kill the grass. And of course you got everybody suing for uh, th that type of stuff. So we're just kind of giving it a little chance to dry up and blow away before we go out there. There is no job that's worth your life. We'll bust our butts for a company, but I've actually experienced some physical problems and so has Darla too, yeah. but I had as you probably notice from time to time, my nasal's really bad, and we were on a ranch out here, and they were dumping frack weird, water. yeah, frack water on the you road. Don't ever want them to do that to try and, to keep the dirt down. Yeah, they tell you, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna water your road to, to help with the dirt, what and they, they go. What they do is they get paid by the load. Yeah. And so they want to dump it on your driveway so they can turn around and come back and get another load. Yeah, I had a guy the other day wanted to drop. He said, well, this is fresh water. This isn't frack water. And I said, well, if you're going to dump it, go back up down the road down there and do it down there. We don't want it here. We don't want to take any chances. So, And then yeah, they come I over here and spray this up. I can not too. I told you, I tasted it when he was spraying it. One thing about it, though, is it dry. the wind is blowing the other way. So as it dries up, it'll get better. Anything else, dear? All right, well, we're going to end it here. Thank you again for subscribing and yeah, for, you guys, we appreciate for all your comments. We love the comments. Absolutely. I, we, we, uh, we both read them, and we both kind of take turns on answering them. This is the time when it, it's, it's good because guys like Eric and, and, and Brian and stuff, they have so many subscribers. Yeah. I mean, Eric does a video, and four hours later, it's 51,000 views, and then people commenting. I don't know how you keep up with that. So we still have an intimate group, and we still have plenty of time to uh, to visit and stuff like that and, and do comments, and hopefully this is going to be a good rest of the year. We're not going to be here that much longer, maybe another month, month and a half probably, and then we're going to do the big roll and uh, I think we figured out what's wrong with the motor we'll see. and I was going to take it apart and look at it but after seeing some of the uh, videos on it and reading some of the stuff it's something that you really can't view unless you can you want to take it apart and if I'm going to take it apart I'm just going to get a new one anyway so I'm going to order a new part and then when the new part comes in we'll stick that in and see how she runs so and, and once I know that what it is uh, that it helps some of you guys because I know there's a bunch of you out there with these eight 
8.3 motors and uh, any information is good information so all right talk to Duff shut up Bill talk to you later guys bye, guys. bye. He loves his toy. This is do favor his oh, and then when you go to grab it, see so about bite your fingers off. See so he'll he'll act like he's giving it to you. There, see I'm just they just say you sit here. Oh there, there's the good doggy. There he is. He's good. Let me have it. See? See I lets me have it. And we do this. He's like, are you putting me on YouTube? I don't want to be on YouTube. You better blur out my face so no one knows who I am. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Can you see it? Where is it? Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> Where'd it go? There it is. All right, good enough.